Your girl is really just in a super springtime, almost summer kind of vibe right now. I'm just really wanting to kind of dive into some really cute, pretty, expressive, colorful eyeshadow palettes. And that's what inspired today's eye look, today's makeup look. I said, you know what? It's time for me to kind of dig through look for those you know colorful beautiful spring inspired palettes summer inspired palettes although you guys know i love to wear color year round <laughs> but you know during this time of year you can kind of lighten it up a bit brighten it up a bit you know pull out some of your complexion products that are a little less heavy a little more lightweight maybe a little more glowy you know just to kind of be out there sun's out buns out you know it's that time of year right so it's a time where i feel like you can be a little bit more expressive a little more adventurous you know if you're not one who wears color all the time like i do i think during the spring and summer is when you can kind of try things out not be so afraid to kind of express yourself you know like with today's look I decided really to focus on one shade it's a very monochromatic look it's only two eyeshadows but I feel like it definitely makes an impact and I feel like it says spring and hello summer okay so yeah I just have that on my mind right now you know people are getting ready to head to the beach getting ready for pool parties you know brunches with the girls all of that stuff you know going out to different like open air markets flea markets farmers markets you know just shopping and being out okay letting the sun hit you don't forget your sunscreen okay but yeah so that is what inspired today's look. I know I'm just going on and on about it, but honestly, I wanted to just kind of give you an introduction to what inspired today's vibe. Okay, so um, along with the palette that I used, which is this Plain and Makeup by Yolando, she has a bunch of these really gorgeous five pan palette color stories. This one is called Expression. <laughs> So very apropos, but this one is called Expression. And when I saw this color story, I was like, wow, that's really pretty, really light, airy. It gives me the feeling of, you know, just being out on the beach, the ocean, cool breeze, beautiful blue sky. And I wanted to put that on my eyes. Okay, so this is what I played with today along with these other products. I pulled out some of my ColourPop you know, products that I feel like are a little less heavy on my face, a little more lightweight, some kind of bright and fun blushes. Um, So yeah, I'm just kind of like going through my makeup products and kind of doing a spring and summer vibe right now. So anywho, enough of me chit-chatting and talking about all of that. Let's just go ahead and jump into today's makeup look. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting off today's look by hydrating my face. I'm using my Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. This has been a favorite moisturizer of mine for years. During this time of year, I tend to get very, very dry for some reason. Summer and spring, I get really dry, and this moisturizer works amazing on my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows. I'm just using a spoolie on the back of a pencil to brush them up. And I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty. This is a brow wax. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. It's so easy to use. I don't like the price of it because <laughs> it runs out kind of quickly, but it's so easy to just use this wax stick to kind of laminate my hairs in place so that's what I'm doing now just going in laying them all down and then I'm gonna go back in with that spoolie brush and just make sure they're all nice and smooth and sleek 
Now I'm using this NYX pencil to go ahead and just slightly fill in my brows. I don't like a super bold, defined brow. I like a more soft, natural look, but I do like them to be, you know, nice and clean. So just gently filling in those sparse areas of my brow until I'm satisfied with the fullness. So as you can see, not too, too much. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Concealer. I've been using this to clean up my brows for years as well. It works perfectly. It adds just the slightest amount of brightening on my brow bone. So it's not too, too light. Very nice concealer, stays in place, and it works perfectly for me to kind of snatch my brow. So for my primer today, I'm using my Makeup Forever. This is their new Hydra Booster Primer just to add another layer of hydration and moisture underneath my foundation, keep my skin nice and smooth. You don't want any dry patches on your face when you're trying to apply your makeup because it will show through the foundation and it's not pretty. So as usual, going in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer. <laughs> the OGs know this is what I use to handle my problem areas which are my dark circles, as well as, you know, the areas around my mouth, that little five o'clock shadow. <laughs> but it really helps to kind of smooth things out and even my skin tone prior to me going in with my foundation. And it allows me to use a lot less foundation because I don't need to cover up so many different problem areas so I love 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 this concealer it's very affordable and as you can see it works really really well so yeah definitely if you want to try it out I would definitely say it's a great buy so for my foundation today I'm using this pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer so it's actually just a tinted moisturizer but as you can see it's looking like it's giving me really really good coverage because I've already taken care of my problem areas. It's a lot more lightweight than a lot of foundations, so it's perfect for this time of year when you don't want a lot of heavy makeup on your face. It gets hot, you start sweating, you know. That's no good for the girls, okay? So I'm going in with my Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. This concealer, it's not a super, super bright shade that I use. The shade that I use is quite close to my skin tone, but it does add just a hint of brightening. So that's really what I'm going for today. And I'm just blending that in. I'm using a very small, um, what is it? A beauty blender, slightly damp, and it just fits perfectly under those eyes. You can see it is shaped a little bit like a oblong egg <laughs> so it worked perfectly for blending out those smaller areas now i'm going to set it with my makeup forever hd powder the lighter shade i'm using is shade three and i'm just going in with that to set those concealed and highlighted areas on my face i like to kind of use that as an extra step of brightening these powders are very nice. They're not super heavy, they're kind of lightweight, but they do set very nicely. So I like how they just kind of smooth out my skin and make sure everything stays in place. Now for the rest of my face, I'm using the darker shade that I have, which is five, and using my Sephora brush. Oh, I love these Sephora brushes, you guys. They're so nice, so, so nice. But I'm using that just to set the rest of my face with that darker powder, making sure that my foundation is not going to move throughout the day and everything kind of blends nicely together. So for my cheeks, listen, we're gonna go in with a nice spring shade. This is one of the NYX, um, it's a mousse blush called Sweet Cheeks. The one I'm using is in the shade Almost Famous super pretty bright orange shade as you can see it's blending nicely they actually set down kind of like a powder and once you blend them out i really love that if you want a more dewy look you can spray you know your face with some setting spray and just kind of blot that in but yeah they really do dry down like a powder so for bronzer we're using our charlotte tilbury today the airbrush bronzer in the shade four this bronzer is very, very nice, you guys. It is like 
A1, okay? And I'm really going in with this bronzer. I really want to look nice and toasted today <laughs> to get that sun's out, fun's out, bun's out look, okay? So yeah, going in and really bronzing up with this bronzer, taking it around the perimeter of my face, snatching my cheekbones, and just kind of trying to warm me up and make me look like it's summertime, springtime. So for highlighting today, we're using our Give Me Glow. This is the Sunset Glow, okay? Now just, let's just watch. Let's just, let's just look at this. Look at that, Lord, the sun just came in and shone on my face. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay, look at that. Don't play with it, y'all, don't play with it, okay? If you're gonna highlight, go ahead and highlight and make yourself look bright it is beautiful so yeah decided to go ahead and bust that one out for the season now to set all this in place let's go ahead and use our charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray and get that dried down using this big fan y'all know i gotta fan it out now let's move on to the eyes using this plan and makeup by yolando palette this is the expression palette little small five pan palette wanted to go ahead and do a very simple but bold look today you know I'm like you know what let's go ahead and do a super light blue or a beautiful minty teal something like that today so that's where we're going as you can see I'm just tapping that on my eye I didn't even put any eyeshadow primer or anything quite honestly I love playing in makeup by Yolando shadows they're just super pigmented this shadow stayed on all day okay with no eyeshadow primer all day so it's it's a really really nice formula so i i really wanted to just use this one shade i love monochromatic one shadow looks they're so easy you just have to make sure you blend out those edges really nicely so it doesn't look patchy but i decided you know what let me go in with one of these darker blues and just kind of deepen up the outer corner so that's what i'm doing now nothing super super crazy i wanted to keep this look very easy and simple for those of you who want to play around with some color but don't want to have to do a lot and don't really know where to start that's why i wanted to keep this look super simple for you guys okay so as you can see those blues absolutely gorgeous blended together nicely I decided to go ahead and drag that darker blue down on my lower lash line. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with this look, but I'm really glad I did because I like how the final look came together. Now, I also decided to keep it all matte, no shimmers. So I'm just going back in with that same light blue shade and tapping that in my inner corner just to add that pop right there, you know, for that brightness in the eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and frame this eye look with some black eyeliner. I'm just using my NYX black eyeliner pencil. And for my lashes, I'm still trying out this L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. Um, like I said before, it's not a bad mascara. It's just okay. I really, really like this applicator for my lower lashes though, that I will say. The lower lashes, it works great for me. If you wear falsies, I don't really know how big of a deal it is, <laughs> you know, on the upper lashes. Um, but for me, it's definitely an amazing mascara for my lower lashes. So finishing the lips, I'm going in with one of my Juvia's Place liners in the shade Cola. And I'm also using one of my Candy Shop lip glosses in Strawberry Cream love these glosses they're super duper pretty um you can kind of get that that tackiness in the center of your lips if you put on too much so be careful with that but this is the final look you guys very simple very easy i feel like it definitely gives me that spring summertime vibe i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and like how it came out don't forget to hit subscribe and like and leave a comment and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!